Hello, today we're going to make squat a beautiful <laughs> or not so beautiful cryptid. And I started with this color here. I guess I made it myself out of some blue and yellow. I may have done green, but it's you could definitely just do some green and blue and add a little blue to the green to get this color and you can really use whatever color you want. I have some other slightly different green and bluish greens that I will likely be using for this as well. As you can see. And I've also made a orangish yellow for his eyes. And we have a nice black that we have for his eyes as well. I think I added the slightest bit of white to this to make it lighter, like just a little dot. And this is uh, mainly a yellow with a little bit of red added and I guess the brand I'm using here is mainly Sculpey and Sculpey 3 that it's a pretty pliable and easy to work with uh, clay and it just bakes in the oven and it stays uh, pliable for a long time it went exposed to air which is really nice opposed to other clay which will dry out so I don't have any really advanced tools you can get like a pack of these for three dollars or something can't remember the exact price but you just get the basic colors and you can make something as big as you want or you can get the exact color if you want to use it all for one and you warm it up a bit to get it more pliable and easy to use. So we're gonna turn it into a squawk-like figure. Like one of these figures or pictures you can see up top. So we're gonna try to make a kind of oval or I don't know. <laughs> That looks pretty nice, I think. Maybe we'll compress it a bit. I feel like we need that. He kind of has more of a point at each end and more of a bulge in the center. So maybe we'll try to do that a little. Hmm. Let's give him a more of a pointy tail if we can. Okay. Let's see. Okay, we have a uh, this more of the same color for his legs that we're going to try to add on later. <clears throat> it's easier to add the parts. At least I find it easier rather than trying to work around with his legs directly on it. So we have this nice shape. And now we'll take a paper clip or I'm sure anything this sort of shape and size will work. And I'm just gonna start making lines going around him. And I'll probably speed this up. Going pretty nice so far. 
You don't always need to make a complete circle all the way around. You can always just make random lines like this if you'd like. I'm sure this would do very well also. So I'll do that for the second half if you prefer that sort of method. Press in all over the place. But I really think anyone could make this if they wanted to. That looks pretty good already. Okay, now that we have some basic lines all over it, let's maybe just uh, add some more just random large ones. Maybe give it a bit of a squish, and a bit of a reshape, get it nicely looking. Okay, so we're fading some of our old lines as we do that, but I'm going to just put random ones now, I guess. Give them all those wrinkles. We want them to look super wrinkly and just, uh, I don't know, like the ugliest creature. Which we're gonna add all those little bumps on. <laughs> I don't know, we're a sad creature. I don't know really what to do for his face. How to. The curvature. He seems to have a mainly flat face for the most part. So maybe we'll just leave it flat. Okay. Maybe we'll push a little dent in for his eyes. Hmm. I think I want him to have bit more of a curving to him. There we are. Let's add a few more lines in his body. Get him looking extra wrinkly. Almost looks like a little grub with legs. Okay, let's grab his legs. <laughs> or let's make his legs. We have his nice body made. So we will make, I'd say, four equal sized balls. A good way, I find at least, to make a more even sized ball is to make a more stretched out version and split it in two, and then split that in two. And you have your four pieces, which are hopefully going to be about the same size. It can take more time, and I can show you, because you can see these aren't the evenest, since I did it with my hands. So, you can take a top loader, like I have here, you can see it's uh, my clay top loader, I'd say. And you can roll it out into a nice little ball or something like a ball and then start rolling it into a log. Just try to apply even pressure and then cut it And cut it. I think that's a bit uneven, but it should be more even than other my two other attempts. I think this would be a large one. Okay. It's not that important either way that his legs are all the same size, I'd say. If they're all different size, it's not that big of a deal as well. 
because he is supposed to be a little weird looking. At least I think he is. So now we're going to make, I'd say, little cylinders. And we're just going to roll logs. Focus, as you can see. Like this. And you just squish it down. And roll the outside. And we do that with all four squares. So, roll. Make a nice little stubby log. And then squish. Roll a little more to create the form. You can just keep doing this. Roll, squish, roll. And it should create a nice little stub of a leg. Let's see if we can do two at a time. Now we have four legs, we can see this one is a bit large, but we will attach his legs on, we'll just, hmm. you know, after re-looking, I think his legs are <laughs> way too large, so I'm going to cut each of them in half, or maybe I'll just cut two in half. Just use these two. I often do that if it's not the right size, you just reshape it and resize it. Just make it smaller. It's very easy to redo these things. You can see this leg here is much smaller than the other ones. And this one is a decent bit bigger, so I'll just peel a little piece off and redo the two. Doesn't take long. Put these legs on now. I'm just gonna give them really stumpy little legs. Nothing special. You can even have dis deformed legs. They don't even need to be like very good. I'm just there. That's that's good enough. Nice. Where did I put that paper book? There we go. Okay. Now let's put these legs on. So I push them up slightly. And now I'm just putting little pushes all around, just kind of pushing the two together. We'll fix the look of the leg after, it's not that big of a deal, we just want to get them firmly connected. If you uh, make his legs thinner and longer, if you want to do that, you might need to put a piece of wire or something inside the leg, or his leg might melt. My first one, the babe, his legs kind of melted a bit on the front because they were too thin and his weight 
kind of caused him to sink down. He still survived, but he didn't turn out like I originally had him. At least his legs didn't, because they weren't sturdy enough. Okay, I think we've got the legs nicely attached. Sorry if that wasn't in focus. Now I'll just add some more lines. Make his leg kind of look like him. We just, let's just push them in wherever. We don't need to make anything that advanced. Let's put, uh, put your finger to brace it so you don't just knock them off after putting them on. And put it on the opposite side to counter the force that you're pushing onto the leg. You can also probably do it before, but I'd imagine the indents will get kind of ruined when you try to put it on. And your fingers can really erase a lot of the prints. As you can see here, they've already kind of been erased as a bunch because I've held him on the side there and just too firm of a grip can remove these nice lines until it's finished and baked in the oven. Okay. Looks good. Got some. Let's just keep hitting them with some more lines, make them look more squishy and scrappy. As many lines as we can. Can't have too many lines on a squawk. Blast them up. Bam. There we go. How's he look? Like a squonk yet? I guess he almost has two little sad ears. We'll keep this ready for him. Okay. Now that we have our basic set up, let's. It's also a good idea to wash your hands in between colors changes. Otherwise, this color here will get infected with the green on your hands. So, a quick little hand wash. Okay, well I've washed my hands quickly, and we can start with the new color. Um, also gonna wipe off this blade so it doesn't transfer any color if any is on it. Okay. We really don't need much at all. We're just making two little eyes. Okay. I probably have this color here left over from the pile strawberry up there. So, it's nice and easy. Eyes are, I find, always hard. I make every eye too big. And I'm like, cut it down, cut it down. I feel like I do that four times. I always expect them to be bigger and bigger. I mean, it's like, ah, oh, those two are still too big. Cut that down. That's more like an eyeball size. Just roll them into two little balls. That one is too big, so I'll make it a little smaller. Okay. And then we have two nice little yellow dots. And we made the indents in this face. Let's see if they'll fit quite nicely. One in each. Oh, we can see as we put it in, that one's much larger. But, uh, is that in, in, in value with Squawk to have one eye bigger than the other? I don't think it's too unrealistic, but 
We'll make it just a little smaller. I still think it'll be larger, but not as noticeably larger. Just a little. Okay, and we just push it into our hole nicely. Okay, and we have our part of our swamp. How does he look so far? Okay, let's gonna use the black for a couple things. We're gonna need a really small little piece of black, like as small as you can make it. You know, I wouldn't mind his eyes a bit different. That's a easy way to pick stuff up. Sometimes just put it on the back of something. If it sticks. <laughs> I kinda like it. Doesn't need to be perfect, but I like Squawk looking a bit goofy. Isn't that what Squawk's all about? Is just kind of looking like a Squawk? <laughs> I don't know. Let's put his uh, ears on if we can. <laughs> One there. One there. Just gonna give a little push on the top of the ear to attach him, kind of smooth it on to the top of his head. Oh, look at that nice squawk. It's looking a little goofy, but pretty nice. Okay. Let's see, we'll add a few more little pieces. We can add his little toes. So we'll just make some more balls. Don't need too many. Okay, we have a bunch of little balls. Let's just push it on his feet. Nothing special, just three toes. Yeah, let's do three. I think three's nicer. Two's not enough. Bam, 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 bam. Don't push too hard or you'll completely flatten it out. Okay, we're gonna have to make a couple more toes for his back foot. And then we'll just push him out. It's a bit hard to put them on now. You can always take something like this and use that to push it on. It's a bit thinner than your finger, so I can get into more narrow places. Put it in, put a little bit of force. There we go. Look at that. Got all his toes, nice arm. <laughs> How's he look so far? I'm not sure what we're gonna do for his mouth, but I'm sure we'll figure something out. Okay, now I think I'm going to add his little dots. Just make a bunch of little dots. So let's cut off some random greens. Also, when I went from green to yellow, I washed my hands because adding there's blue and green and adding blue to this yellow would very much affect the color 
but adding a little bit of yellow to these greens or the black won't really make a noticeable difference so I didn't bother but yeah we cut a little piece of green off there we'll cut a little piece here let's take a bunch of different colors that are squonkish but not the same color that you used okay we have four different greens and we'll make some little balls out of them just like we did for all the other ones cut them up into their own pieces they don't have to be the same size at all in fact different sizes would be encouraged I'd say you don't want all his little bumps to be the same size. You want them all to be different sizes. Even different shapes and different things. They don't need to even be good bumps at all. Or balls, I'd just say. Make them rough little things. You don't maybe want to put a piece like this on. But a ball that's not quite a ball would be perfectly fine. Mm, I think that's a little large. I think this is a little large, so let's make them smaller. Okay. Got lots of little balls. Now, we'll just take these and Hmm. That's too big still. You gotta make them smaller. It's always easy to just take your piece that you're gonna place on and check the size. And if it's not the right size, just add more or take some away. And it's pretty easy to do. Okay. See how these look now. Well, that's nice. That one little bump. Got another little bump over there. Just add a little bumps all over the place. Lots of little bumps on your squat. Very nice. Gotta fill them up. And that's pretty much a good looking squawk of bumps. A bumped up squawk. But I do think I will take this one off. Oops, kind of stuck to the wall. I got it. There we go. A little bump there. A little bump there. Ooh, got a hair stuck in it. Gotta be careful with those hairs. Oh, we got. Black on that one. Okay. How'd you look? Nice squonk. A lot of bumps. Definitely an interesting little cryptid. <laughs> I like him. I think we gotta figure out his mouth now and his nose. Let's give him a nose. Just gonna make another cylinder type piece. I think that's too big. Make it half the size. Oh, 
actually I'm gonna make it into more of a cone. If you can do that. You just kind of pinch it at the one end. Your fingers, so the part sticking out. And you can create a little cone. Just gonna flatten it a little. Stick his nose. <laughs> How's that look? I think we need to add a bit more pressure to make sure the nose stays on. So we'll take our little paper clip and give it a push around his eye. Don't want it to get in his eye. It's okay if we add lines, especially for Squawk, because we can have lines all over him. The more texture, the better. He's looking like a little squawk. Gotta have those lines. In fact, I'm gonna add some little lines to his ear. Gotta add those wrinkles. Okay. Beautiful. I do think his left eye might be a little large. I think I will take it off and make it smaller. Hopefully we can do it. I don't know. We might... Oh. We left a piece on. Let's see. Oh no. It's always good to resize it before you put it on. Otherwise, you can get into these situations. Oh well, whatever. That'll do. Okay. Now, I'd say that's pretty much done. I'm not sure. I think I want to maybe add a really smile, smile to him. So I'm going to take a little piece of black here. And I'm just going to push it very, like, no force. More like you're just sliding this back and forth on it. If you push it, you'll kind of see, do this. See what's happening? You don't want that. So we'll take it back out, make it into a little ball, there, and like, no force, you're, you're more just moving it, that's really what you're doing, if you want, you, you can hold the sides, and you just let it ride, just keep going. If you find it's not going fast enough, you can add the slightest bit of force to make it go a little faster but you don't want too much force or it will squash just keep going we want to get it super thin if we can just gonna rotate that keep going long. I find it's better doing this opposed to the fast, short little ones I was just doing. But we're starting to get it longer and longer as you can see. I'm gonna move squonk a bit. Okay. It's probably big enough. Okay, now we got a nice thin strand of black. Let's cut the end off, it's a little too thin. And we'll take right here. Okay, this is very fragile. So you need to be very delicate with it. I 
got it. I think we're going to give him a bit of a sad face. He's not a happy squonk. As they are. They're sad little cryptids. Okay. There we go. We added a little sad face on him. It's kind of hard to see with his giant nose in the way. But it's there. It's there. I'm sure you could add different things to yours to make it more noticeable if you'd like or whatever you want. In fact, I think I'm going to take this small little piece of green and add a speck to his face because he's kind of wart free on his face he needs a few little dots there it is we'll put it right up on his cheek there we go. Should we even add one on his nose? Sure, let's put one on his nose also. Okay. Ooh. There we go. And here we have our beautiful completed squawk. That didn't take long at all. I guess I had the colors pre-made, but it's really not that hard to make it. And you know what? I'm going to do one extra, and I'm going to add a little tear. Oh look, we have some blue. This is just the blue mixed with white. A lot of these, I think this is the leftover from my babe up there. Or maybe even the squirrel. But you just take uh, it. I always save my leftover clay pieces in here, as you can see. So we're just going to cut off a small little piece of blue. There we are. And roll it into a cone. I remember how we did that. Just kind of more have a bigger piece. It's really hard to do with such a small piece. It's hard for me to show you as well. Just kind of doing that, pushing in. And making a triangle almost, as you can see. And now that we have a tip or a point. Gonna round off the bottom. Very tricky. There we go. A nice tear. Just gonna push it in so slightly. Don't want to deform the tear. There we go. Our beautiful swamp. I hope you enjoyed this clay cryptid. My first one on video. He also needs to be baked and varnished. And maybe I'll add that section in after. I guess I'll show you right now, but I have a ultra matte Dura Clear. If you want a matte finish or a, I have this diamond wood finish, water based, interior crystal clear, non yellowing gloss. It's uh, very nice. So, this would have a couple coats of the high gloss. As you can see, he's quite shiny. But then we have Babe here. 
which is not so shiny, but he's covered in the ultra matte because I didn't think a cow would be so shiny. So I'll probably cover him in a matte because I don't view Squonk as shiny, but maybe I'll try to put a bit of a, this finish on his eye or face, his tear. We shall see. Sad Squonk. Hope you enjoyed this clay cryptids and have a wonderful day.